This just might be the perfect Marlin spike you've been looking for, and I'm about to tell you why. So first off, a huge thank you to Tom over at Unquiet Hands for sending these amazing spikes to me to check out. These are the new Leviathan Marlin Spikes, and I've got to say this has now become my most favorite Marlin Spike of all time. So right off the bat, I love the name, the Leviathan. Really fitting for that nautical theme as Leviathans are often associated with large underwater sea creatures, and I have thalassophobia so it already scares me. But relevant because as many of you know, Marlin Spikes were the tools of sailors who used these spikes for the intricate knot work that was often done on ships at sea. But for most of you watching, we'll be using this spike for our paracord work. So let me tell you why I'm loving this Leviathan. There's a lot to learn about these spikes, so be sure to stick to the end. Now let's have a quick look at the unboxing for those of you that care. These spikes come in this nice little plastic hard case that is padded with foam. The spike is nicely protected in this velvet baggie, and it comes with a matching bead, some paracord, a sticker, and a certificate of authenticity, which I might have misplaced. So bonus points for the nice packaging. Size-wise, it is perfect. Overall length is just about 4 and 3 quarter inches or 12 centimeters. And this is the perfect length for me personally, as I can place the butt end of the spike in my palm, and then the spiked end is just long enough for me to hold comfortably but not too long to the point where it's unwieldy. My index and thumb are then in the perfect position to pinch right at the neck of the spike where it tapers in, and I have a very comfortable grip on the spike to manipulate it. And before we go any further, if you're enjoying this video, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, moving on from the body of the spike, this then leads me to the tip, which I think is the most important feature of a Marlin spike. In my experience, I've used a lot of spikes that are just simply too pointy. The problem with this is that the tip of your spike can catch the outer sheath of the paracord if you're not careful and cause runs in the cord, potentially making your project look bad. Not a huge issue if you're using this spike for practical knot tying, but if you're crafting something, there's always the risk of ruining the aesthetics. The tip of the Leviathan is slightly rounded which I think makes it perfect to mitigate the risk of catching the sheathing on the paracord, and it can still happen, but it's a lot less likely due to the rounded tip. The size of the tip and the eventual taper is the right size for paracord work in my opinion. A spike of this size perhaps would be too small for when working with larger gauge ropes, but for paracord, I feel it's more than adequate. Now let's look at some of the aesthetics as you've already been staring at this guy for a while. The design on this is nothing short of beautiful. The machining has been done very precisely and I love the look and design. It's not overly fancy but at the same time not super minimalist with no thought at all. If you need to choke down on the spike, these sort of leaf shaped flat areas actually give you a nice rest area for your thumb or fingers. And as you've seen I have two different models here and they are in fact different materials as well, not just finishes. The white spike is stainless steel with a white Cerakote, and the blue spike is titanium with a blasted finish that has been blue anodized. The Cerakote is a much smoother finish, and the sandblasted titanium has a very slightly chalky feel which will wear in and smooth out over time as you use it. And of course, the titanium version feels significantly lighter than the stainless, of course. Which one do I prefer? I like both actually. I think I would have preferred a non-anodized version of the titanium as I do like that sort of gray look of titanium, but blue is just fine. And as you've seen, these do come with a matching bead in finish and material. The stainless bead is actually quite heavy and it does add a lot of weight to the spike, so you may or may not want to attach it as it does make the spike feel a bit more cumbersome. The titanium bead though is a lot less noticeable. Now I've been personally using these spikes for the past few paracord projects I've been doing and they have been working out excellently for me. And for the uninitiated, if you haven't actually used a Marlin spike before, in terms of paracord work, a Marlin spike can be used to loosen or tighten all kinds of knots. And it can also be used to make a path or space for stitching work when making paracord bracelets. I tend to use my Marlin spikes when I'm tightening monkey's fists or diamond knots. So overall, I have to highly recommend these Marlin Spikes from Unquiet Hands. They're well made, they look great, and most importantly, they function extremely well for paracord crafting. But don't take my word for it, you can get one for yourself by checking out the link in the description box down below. 
And if you enjoyed this video, here is another one.